In this session, we're going to look at creating some custom tags. So far, we've worked with the heading one tag and the paragraph tag, and we've seen how we can actually create some styles and change the properties of these. But let's create our own styles. So what I'd like to do is actually change Mr. Marsden. At the moment, resides with inside. If I click the source, resides with inside some paragraph tags. But what happens if I want to apply these wherever I've selected? So to do this, we can make our own classes. So I'm going to head back over. I've still got my global CSS selected. And I click the plus sign. It knows that this is part of the body tag at the moment. To make a custom class, I need to use the full stop. And then I can put in, say, Marsden. And I'm just going to type that in like that. And click Enter. So this is now a custom class. So I can actually change the color of this if I wanted to. And I can select a different color. I'll go to a purple. Press Enter. I can also change the font weight. I can make it bold. And if I wanted to, I can change the size and I can actually go to something like um, a large or extra large font size and press enter. Now you notice that what I've selected hasn't adjusted yet. But if I highlight the site and within my properties panel, if I select from the HTML down to the CSS, I can actually click on the targeted rule and you notice that down the bottom of this list now, there is Marsden. You don't see the full stop first, but when I click on this, you notice that it's applied. In our code now, you'll actually see that this is um, Mr. Marsden, and then it's actually got span, class, Marsden, example style, close span. So you can actually see that it's applied this rule to this section. If I just want Mr., I can highlight that, and once again, select the rule, Marsden, and it applies. So let's have a look at applying another one. So let's create, create another custom class. So this time I want to go full stop LWM. Press enter. So this time for this class, you notice that the selector has LWM active. I can actually go in and pick another color. So let's go with the blue and this shade here. Press enter. I can actually select font families if I wanted to. Go through and pick a different font family. Let's pick this one. I can actually, um, once again, go apply everything else that you'd like. So in this case here, we can keep applying all the different layouts, um, but we're just going to stick with what we've got at the moment and keep it fairly simple. You notice that nothing's highlighted, so let's just highlight the smiley face. Once again, go into my properties panel, and this time down the bottom of it, you notice there's an LWM. So I can highlight that and you can see that being applied now in blue. So if we wanted to, we could actually change not only having our header rules, etc., or if we go back to HTML, having just the standard rules, we can actually go through and personalize our websites and have all our own existing um, rules as we set them up. So click on there, head into here, and we can actually also, if we wanted to edit rules, etc. So I clicked on edit rule and it's automatically come up in the tiled box. And if I wanted to, I can go through here and actually say, well, it's not quite the blue I wanted. We actually wanted more of a brighter blue. And I could adjust that, etc., and press enter. And that will automatically update the style sheet when I click on apply. See how it's already updated. If I wanted to, you can have underline, etc. And it applies to the style as we go through. And when I finish, I can click OK. And that would still be a part of the LWM rule. So that is how we can create and edit rules that we make for our website and manage those in an effective way.